Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will show you how to make or enhance your line chart to make it more visually appealing for the end user. So I have this data for 3 years which is spread across multiple months. We will use this data to create a line chart which will show the trend with the help of line chart. So let's quickly go ahead and create a line chart. Here you can get the chart option. You'll quickly select the line chart, click next. You want to create a line chart on the months. So we'll just select month and let's quickly connect and click next and say sum of the numerical field which I have is average data. And let's just click OK, click finish. So right now it has just created one line for this entire data set. But what I really want is this line, the three lines representing each of the year. So for this, let's go to properties and go to dimensions and then click on the year. Click year and click OK. So now you can see as, as soon as I have added the year, my three lines which I really needed is appearing over here. So this is simple but what we really want to achieve here is that for example if until November your data is uh, uh, actual data and for rest of the uh, month let's say for December it's the forecast data now how you can represent it using the different kind of uh, uh, line maybe a shaded line or a, or a you know different kind of a color so for that we will going to uh, use the line style feature which you will usually find in the expression uh, which you have specified but before that let's just sort this because it is not sorted correctly so for this let's right click and go to properties and I'll just put this over here so that you can easily see if it is sorted or not I will just click on sort month is highlighted currently it is selected as text but I will just say load order I think my load order is uh, with Jan to December so let's quickly hit apply and yeah that's right so it is coming Jan, Feb, March and all because that's how I have loaded the data so that's why I have specified also that I want load order which is March now after this I will go into expression and within the expression I have expression properties where I can specify any kind of background color, text color and I also have a line style which I am going to show you in this video how you can use this feature to make it more visually appealing. So let's say uh, we want to highlight anything which is above 500. So for example this is the detailed data which I have and here I have some observation like 535, 622, 606. So probably these are some of the observation which I wanted to highlight and wanted to show uh, when it has happened in a particular month and in which year. So for this uh, we'll need to write an expression saying if, if uh, average data is greater than 500 then and that's where the magic or the real trick will come into the picture here I can either specify a style which I can do it by first putting the colon and then within these brackets I will specify whether which kind of style I want there are like s1 s2 s3 s4 these different kind of styles so I will just say s2 because S1 is a default style in this case. So this is a predefined tag. You can find more information in help about these tags. And uh, so S2 is a dotted line kind of a style. And for rest of this observation, I just want a normal style, which is S1. I'll just close this bracket and I will try to hit apply and then show you what has happened over here 
wherever it has figured it out the observation is going beyond 500 it has made the line dotted line so then you can clearly identify or make it more visually appealing for your end user by showing the dotted line as a those lines or those data points which is more than having more than 500 as a data point so that's number one another thing which you can do is something like change the width of the line so for that you again need to come into same place line style click on here instead of saying s1 or s2 which is the style 1 style 2 you need to say w or width width of two points otherwise width of one point which is a default option so for that if i just click apply and now you can see your line of the width for that portion is changed so in this way you can make your chart more visually appealing for such kind of information where there is some peak point then you want to highlight it or if there is any future information say for example after september or after november the information is in the forecast information and april november is actual then you want to show the forecast with a dotted line or with some other line which you have so that's pretty much all i wanted to uh, show you in this video hope you have found it useful and i will meet you in the next video the new topic